All right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to 343 Labs Feedback Sessions. This is Atropolis. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and instructor at 343 Labs. We got the virtual classes and we got a lot of awesome content, as some of you may know. I know we got a lot of folks that come, have been joining us every week. So for the guys coming back, thank you for joining us. And for those of you who are new, you can submit your track to atropolis at 343labs.com. We're gonna be laying out this information over and over. So let's, I'm gonna get my screen going. I'm gonna get my email going and start seeing the chat. I don't have the chat open with me yet. We're gonna wait to get the attendance rolling in. Um, Sonia, if you're already with us, I have yet to get to your email. I've been quite busy relocating to Woodstock, New York. I'm currently back in Astoria, Queens right now at my parents' house, getting my last things from my apartment. So here we are. Uh, Thomas, if you can send me the link, uh, that would be great. Yes. All right. So let's see what we got. Okay. All right. So waiting up, oh, we got Vinny. Great. So Vinny, I see you submitted. Just reading, just trying to get some communication. You know what? I'm just going to go to the 343 Labs YouTube station. And I'm trying to switch my Google accounts. This is something I struggle with. I'm going to go to my live feed. Don't want to hear the volume. Awesome. Hey, Andrew, what is going on? What's up, Mike? Great. Yes. Um, you guys know what's up. 343 Labs. Um, Atropos at 343labs.com. Now, I just want to get my... Oh, awesome. I am logged in. So here we go. Let me get in the chat, please. Please submit your tracks to me. Atropolis at 343labs.com. So first come for serve Vinny, I'm gonna just start getting you queued up. Super excited to hear what Vinny's got cooked up for us. Andrew, what are you gonna be? Yeah, what's going on, man? Thank you for <clears throat> joining us as always. Just gonna get some water real quick. <clears throat> all right so let's see yeah people that are signing in with us if you're joining us for the first time we got feedback sessions every saturday you can submit your track i just put my email in the feed you can see me adam partridge it's atropolis at 343labs.com how's it going nathan yes please send them there and we'll get into it so it, it takes some time you know we got <clears throat> maybe five ten minutes per track so um last week we oh man i gotta find make sure when you're submitting your track that you're checking everything make sure it's there uh last last week we were not able to fit in someone's track um because when they sent it to us it uh, they, i think they muted it or something so Try to send in your tracks, double check it before sending, send an MP3, and let's get started. I think it's time to get started. Feedback sessions, get the, whatever whatever software you use, doesn't matter. So if you're using Fruity Loops, GarageBand, if you want some feedback on your music, here's the place to do it. Um, if you got some friends that are looking for some feedback, let them know, right? So let's get started. Oh, got some interesting thing that's going on right now on my YouTube on the YouTube feed. Let me just get out of these commercials real quick. It's getting a little crazy. All right, here's my face. All right, Nathan, awesome. Yeah, please submit your tracks. We got it, great. So we got Vinny low, queued up, then we got Nathan. So let's kick it off. Uh, let me make sure all the volumes are good. And as always, guys, please let me know if there's any technical things going on, if my voice drops out, or if the audio is not playing. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna hit play. Let's take a listen.
All right, all right, awesome, Vinny. Fresh, fresh as always. Uh, Vinny, can you share anything quickly about this track? I mean, you're always whipping things up quickly. Um, this track feels really great in terms of uh, everything, like in terms of the sound design, the production, the movement, the arrangement, the style, the originality. Um, I think it's a really nice production. Mix-wise, I'm really enjoying it as well. I think the elements are coming together. Only one thing that I'm going to be a, a bit of a critic on. So, might be subjective. I mean, every I, I think every critique could be subjective. But I felt the guitar, the electric guitar, need a name. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's always tough. You'll, you'll get it. Seems like you got something. But I feel like the electric guitar in the middle section was the only thing that fell a little short in terms of performance I feel like it can be executed like I, I just really appreciate like everything is really well put together you're really great with your textures and having like poly textures all these different pads in and out and creating clarity amongst all these different pads and layers and kind of ambient textures that you're evolving the beginning really nicely uh, and then the rhythms are really cool. Like, I'm really curious about the drum production on that. You know, I'm curious what is going on there in terms of how you, how you got that. Because it sounds really unique um, and well executed. So the guitar, when the electric guitar came in, I, I felt a lot, personally I felt a little let down. Um, and I felt like overall you might want to revisit that guitar. I feel like it could be a little bit more sharp. The performance could be a little bit more sharp and have a little bit more soul um, and maybe a little bit more staccato. There's something about the performance that I feel like, yeah, maybe if you can sharpen it up a bit, 
Um, initially, I was like, oh, it's the mix, is it the distortion? But I think it's the performance. So that's 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 more heavy critiquing, you know. Um, that's something that I think you can take it or leave it. But if you want to revisit it, I think it might be cool to check that out. But other than that, I think it's really really nice track, man. Really cool. Really, it has your sound. You're always continuing your original sound, the Vinny Conte sound, which I think you're doing a great job, like creating this world, which is really difficult. Uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. Oh, and that was another thing. The first, and again, this is first impression, and let me just hold on, let me just double check how we got the, how we're rolling in with submissions right now, just to see how we're doing with timing. I just gotta manage everything. All right, we got time, we got time. So this, this the first feeling when I listen to it, like this pre-drop thing, like it's there, it hits. Mm -hmm. And it's really wild and it like kind of takes me for a bit, you know? Um, it takes me for a bit where I, it, I did not expect that, which is always fun to do to a listener, right? Because a listener always has to be like, wait, that, that, that wasn't what I expected. We were always supposed to be spoon fed everything. So I do believe it's one of those things as I continue to listen to it over and over, I just will grow to like it more. But there was part of me that just was so into the intro, I was like, man, I want some of that intro stuff, like maybe sprinkled a tiny bit. But then of course, when you bring it back in full, like that thread is woven really nicely. Um, but that, I'm just sharing my experience, whether or not you can try to sprinkle a little of the sounds, like maybe really sparsely on like downbeats might be kind of cool. But if you're trying to just throw people for a ride and be like, hey, you know, it definitely achieves that. So yeah, let's check out this guitar real quick. And yes, I'm glad we've re-listened re to it. Um, oops. Glad we just re-listened to it. Let me hop into the chat. Yes, I'm going to stand by that. Uh, I was struggling with that for sure. Okay, yeah. So I personally think it needs to be revisited. Um, and I think it would really add to it. So yeah, just sit with that, man. Practice it. Run through it. Um, I, think, I think more like just maybe cut it a little bit. I think it needs to be... You can have that sustain, but maybe palm it, you know, maybe pick it a little bit with your thumb. Cool. <clears throat> All right. So, Vinny, we're going to move on from the track. I hope that's helpful. Um, that was the only area. Other than that, I think it's really great. Okay. Yeah, Twitch. Well, all right, Aaron. Thanks for Arrow, my bad. Arrow Productions. Hang out here. I'll be up in here in the, in the chat. Sometimes the stream, global stream chat, we, we miss out. So, Thanks for jumping into the YouTube chat. All uh, right, guys, let's let's keep it going. Let's move on to Nathan Kelly. Uh, curious about the mix and if it has enough variations. Wait, actually, speaking of variations, I know Vinny was asking about transitions. I I felt oh, oh you were worried about the transition. Okay, yeah. So sorry, sorry to jump around, uh, Vinny. The transition into the drop, if you're worried about it, it did kind of throw me a bit. I think as a listener, like you can sometimes accept whether or not you want to accept getting used to something. Sometimes it's really cool. Uh, one of my students, Javez, who is the son of uh, one of Iranian's most prized sitar players. This guy grew up uh, touring at the age of seven and went to Juilliard and he's just like a incredible prodigy and one incredible piece of information that he gave me when it comes to composition is like for saving the surprise you know so that's something I always think about when I'm making music production is like how do you sa save something like you don't have to give it all away um, so when it comes to the drop on this and and sorry the, to bring Havez back into the to the conversation 
he mentioned that it's okay for the listener to throw the listener off. It's okay to make the listener confused, you know, um, at first. And over time, the listener can grow to like and really appreciate something that they don't understand at first. And that's one piece of advice. He was a student of mine, but, you know, this guy's an epic musician with, you know, incredible training and experience as uh, for his instrument uh, to be sharing this because sometimes I'll struggle with whether or not I can do something. Um, so in the discussion of music production and the many avenues of advice and arrangement, the complexities of figuring out whether or not something should work or not, then I'm discussing the drop. I'm saying, okay, I do. I did feel like it could in involve the awesome sounds you have in the intro. They just go away. Can you sprinkle on them, sprinkle those elements in a little bit? I think that would help. Um, and especially if you were concerned about it, I think you should do that. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, let's 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 get into this arrow. Please submit it to atropolis at three four three labs dot com. That's how we get it. This is my email, 343labs.com. Let's, let's do this. Okay. So, Nathan, let's see if you have enough variations. Is too basic. Let's see. Basic is good. Let's see what we got. Ooh, coming right in. Right. Nice, nice, nice. Let me pop into the chat, see what's popping off. Cool. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm 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 with Ivan with that. It's a nice track. Nathan, that that's that's a really great <clears throat> that's Nathan Kelly, everybody. 
Uh, right now, for those of you who have been listening to the last two tracks between Vinny Conte and Nathan Kelly, these guys are both are st- like star stars, former star students from Three Four Three Labs, and oh, it's such an honor to be constantly being able to give these guys feedback. Both of them came to Three Four Three Labs about two years ago, and I'm just so impressed with the progress. Nathan Kelly, I would this is. For me personally, my favorite production that I've heard from you. Um, I don't think it's basic. I think it's great. Uh, there's a lot of great things going on. I think the arrangement moves really nicely. Um, I have one idea that came into my head for the, the final drop. It doesn't. It's not something that is needed. It's just something that I thought about that maybe could be cool. Um, but other than that, I think there's a lot of great things happening with this track. So the... You know, we got the arrangement is working really well. There's enough variation. There's enough movements. Not too basic, right? You, it's just simple enough. You don't want to go too crazy, right? You don't want to have too many different sections. It's good to keep it simple. So you have enough movement. It's not too simple where it's boring. And there's not. A, a, it's not too crazy where there's too much going on. Uh, the, the mix is really solid. The sounds are really solid. Sound design. Um, so I think, I think you're sitting really well. Yeah. What's the second drop idea? The take me. So I don't know what, if that's a sample, if that's someone you've worked with that you can get to do different takes on take me. Um, maybe you can, if it's just a sample, I would be curious to, uh, divide it in the multiplier in the sample when you're up and opening and looking at the clip view on the left to make it take to have it go longer when it comes back and to have it side chained so it's more dramatic and the take me is yeah sample well I'd be I would see how how far you can stretch the take out or maybe you can wash it into a big reverb um, but it'd be again it's something that popped into my head it's like I'm, I'm really happy when it comes back I'm not like ooh like it's need something it was just something that in terms of a way to intensify and and make the 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 last drop have a little bit you know what can we do is there a way to make it even hit is there something to make it even more dramatic than the first drop so if there's any way to make the take and even me longer more sustained take and then have it side chaining where it's like take you know and maybe you could even have both. Maybe you could even have the take me and then the take in the background is a texture like, yeah, pumping. But yeah, this is my favorite track. I think this is a big one. Um, this is a really great track, man. Really, It's really sound, really sound fresh. If you could share, I'd be curious, Nathan, what do you got cooking up with this track? Any, any plans? Is this already gone somewhere? The label, any submissions? Mm. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to deal with the lag. And Nathan, if you want to ch- chip in and share with the folks what you might be cooking up with this track and Vinny as well, you know, if you guys want to share what your strategies are, or how maybe you're getting your music out into the world. You know, we got some producers that are coming in here that you know, maybe are not have come through the classrooms or just getting into it or are just where you guys were two years ago. So Vinny and Nathan, please. Yeah, no plans. That's good. Finish it. Maybe make, make it bigger, like make th- three more tracks, make an EP, you know, make or make an LP, do the album, you know, do an album. Albums, people sink their teeth into albums. Not sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't don't get too caught up in, in the boundaries of of, of, a, of whatever label of sound you think you're belonging. Uh, we're we're all mostly byproducts of, of the internet and and like listening to every genre under the sun. So it's just inevitable that the music today we can't really be so restricted to that tra- tradition of like oh one unified sound. You know, I'm I'm someone who's really into artists that explore different stuff so yeah yeah that's another thing so for those of you who are in an area where you want to pitch to labels you want to think about 
<clears throat> you want to think about the label itself, right? You want to think about the sound of the label. You can't just, you might really love a label, but that label doesn't represent your music. And that's something that you have to realize. So you got to seek out labels that actually represent your music. It could be completely different than the labels you actually like versus the music you make. Cool. All right, let's 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 keep it rolling. I'm going to get some water. Excuse me real quick. Let's see what we got. We got Arrow Production. <clears throat> In the house, I actually should have, oops. Let's get over here. So Arrow Productions, I believe this is the first time we are meeting each other. I'm not sure if this is your first time joining us at 343 Labs feedback session. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Um, if you want to share anything about the track or anything about what you're concerned about, this would be the place to share it in the chat. So we got Untitled MP3. Is that the name of your track, Arrow Productions? I'm just messing about. All right, let's kick it off. Let's start that over. I was adjusting the volume. I don't know if the volume dramatically changed in the track or if that was just because of my computer. I'm going to start it over and just make sure that wasn't happening. Yes, that was some heavy, that was some cinematic, so some very cinematic, that was a heavy track, very cool, very cool. Um, where is Arrow Productions? So Arrow Productions, you got anything you want to share, anything that you're concerned about with this? If you, okay. Yeah, so one thing, you know, in, in, in the realms of being a very cinematic track, um, Sometimes I joke around a lot that I'm going to create a meme Instagram handle that just makes fun of mixing engineers who mix for films and television because I, I they drive me nuts. The, the formula of like the, you know, playing with the remote, you got to have the volume high when there, people are talking and then all of a sudden a big action scene happens and then your speakers are blowing up and you got to lower the volume. That's how every film and television show is mixed. This track has that element where it starts really like the, so the dynamics of the track for like DJ purposes or, you know, your typical Spotify listening sound, whatever, however you want to share it. Dynamically, it's a little too big, meaning 
you're, it's it starts too soft and it gets too big. It's too much of a difference. If this was in a film, you know, the different styles of mixing, you know, a director of a film, they might want you to do that. Or if it's used in a commercial, it might be designed to do that. So one suggestion, again, it's the application, you know, if this track is going to be something you want to have like DJs play out or people working their mixtapes, I would just make those dynamics from the intro to the drop not be so so big but it's a really really big track um it hits really you know has a really you have you're pushing it you can hear like the over compressedness which gives it a style which is really cool and in your face i think overall you could calm down your low end across the board on everything i think it would help you know, I know in the realms of this kind of hip hop, cinematic hip hop vibe, um, you want that heavy bass and it's good. And I don't want you to get rid of it. I just think you can tame it a little bit. I think it's a little too, a little too much. And I do think your compression, I mean, you know, you're smashing it and the kicks are there, but they're kind of hitting flat. You know, because they're compressed, you're smashing the transients or whatever sample you're using. But because it's so smashed and compressed, um, I feel like it's not knocking. It's kind of getting that flat over compressed thing. So maybe back down your compression a little bit. Back down your lows, back down your compression, and also back down your time-based effects. The first thing that immediately I felt like your reverbs were... A little too much but in terms of the energy it's such a big it has such a good energy you know very cinematic really epic um I'd be curious you know i like the different sections i mean it's a short it's a short little bit um i'm curious is this track done is that the whole length of the track do you want to get an mc for the track I'm curious what you want to do with the track where it is so our productions if you if you're here, I hope you're with us. I hope you caught that. Um, if you want to ask us any questions, this would be the time to do it. We're about to move on to the next track. We've got Yvonne and we got Nishark. All right. So, no, it is not too late. We got some time. We got some time. Um, all right, guys. So, give me one second. Let me get this. A normal one and a couple short ones. I used to hit three. Okay, so, well, we're going to start with a, only one. So I'll give you a chance to pick one for now. Um, which one do you want me? we got time for one for now, and then we're going to go to the next submission. Um, so I'm just going to pick it, Ivan. All right. All right. We'll do this guy. Yeah, I think we could pop pop off pop off one more. So yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's a short one for sure. Um, I'm digging the the mix and the sound design and the transients. So uh, Arrow Productions, I don't know if you're with us still, uh, but this would be a great example to understand um, transients and when the transients are hitting. You have really nice sound and punch, really nice punch to everything. 
So really, really well mixed, really nice sounds. Um, I'm digging the groove. Yeah, I mean, if that's it, if it's that, it's a short track. It's a short track. If you're done with it, you're done with it. Uh, it flows through it. Um, but in the realms and spirit of a short track, I'm not really going to get into the idea of arrangement because it's just a little, a little sketch, a little idea. Yeah, nice bass. Really like the drums. I really like the articulation and the punch of the track and the sound design. So yeah, let's let's do one more. Let's do a normal one. And then we'll see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got some time. This keeps on going to this email. I want this email. Um, well, we got two more. Let's see what we can do. All right, you know what, Ivan? If we got time, we'll roll back to you, okay? Because um, we got maybe time for two more, you know. And if we if we can fit it in, we'll 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 go we'll we'll check it out. So, New Shark, if I'm saying it correctly, great. If not, I apologize. Um, I can barely read as it is. So we got rain coming through. New Shark, thanks for joining us. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you come and work you know come and submit next week and the following weeks let your friends know this is something i wish i had when i was making music honestly man it's just like you can't you can send it to your parents send it to your friends who don't really make music it's really great to just get some feedback once in a while so the shark here we go all right all right All right, here we go. Yes, that hit. All right, cool, man. That's nice. That's nice, man. That's a really, really cool, moody track. We got who's saying that? So moody. Yeah, it's got a nice vibe to it. Um, got got a lot of short tracks. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I don't know. Um, for me, I respect like just getting a track done, and the folks that are sending in these shorter tracks. Um, you know, the track length is getting shorter, actually, in all reality. So that's a, a kind of a fun. I can't say I would call it a fact, but it is an observation. Uh, it is a noted observation that music, that our typical song length, which was uh, around three minutes and 30 seconds, is now getting reduced to two and a half minutes. Um, so, you know, like the track moves, it comes and comes out. I guess like the previous track from Ivan and Nishark, you know, I, you guys leave us wanting a little bit more. So which is always a good thing. So really, really nice track. A lot of things going on. I was checking out with what Nathan, I wanted to see what he was, what that hit was with the DS. Um, I personally wasn't, I didn't hear anything that was sticking out in the highs too much. It was actually 
my favorite area to give feedback on, everyone's always like, yeah, Adam always says this. I always talk, I always think about low end. High end's always something I'll talk about if it's bothering me. Um, yeah, I mean, the mix is working. Like, it is working. That's cool. Your ears are, you're, you're working really well with your ears. So your methodology, you know, sometimes mixing could just be a natural thing. Um, but yeah, luckily things are hitting pretty well in the, the mix and the balance, the leveling, the guitar, the, the bass, the drums, uh, balancing is pretty well. Um, the shark check out, start investigating. I don't know what software you're using or using Ableton live. Yeah. Uh, that hit, I got to find that hit. I, maybe, maybe I thought you said, maybe it's usually hi hats, but I got to check out the hit. I got to go find it. Um, if you could specify where in the arrangement it was, Nathan, please let me know. And then I'll just go check it out again for sure. Um, so Nashark, start investigating. If you have Ableton, uh, if you're using Ableton Live or whatever software you're using, start investigating high pass filters or low cut. They're the same thing. Um, the reason I'm saying both of their names is if you have to go to a manual um, or if you have to Google something, you start reading about these things, you might see both of these names and it's confusing because one's low, one's high. A high pass filter allows for high frequencies to pass by cutting low frequencies. A low cut filter cuts low frequencies is the same thing. So start just calming down the, the kicks a little bit. Yeah, Abe, I know, loves the DS stuff. It's the, like the clap. Um, so, but other than that, really vibe, it really, really has a nice hit to it. The mix and the movement and the arrangement and the elements are really strong. Um, you got a really strong track here. So I would keep on doing what you're doing, man. It sounds really good. So, um, Nathan, just tell me where this hit is, man. Are you, are you talking about like a, a hit, like, it's like the clap? Is it something that repeats itself or are you talking about like a hit, like when the drop hits? Let me see. Let's see. It's short enough. So the two, the clap, I, I don't, you know, actually familiar with the clap. I do think it can cut a little bit. I don't think we need the DS. In, and I've, I've talked about these headphones. I'm going to take them off. It's going to be a little weird for me. But I've talked about these headphones uh, maybe two weeks ago. I'm going to show it to you guys. These. Take a screenshot if you can. Ah, my... I'm dyslexic. I can't get it. There it is. There it is. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just sent the pad. I, I do think some sidechain compression would help. Some low cutting, some cleaning up your low end, some a little bit more sidechain compression. Look into that as well if you don't know about it or if you're using it, use a little bit more. Um, but getting back to, to what Nathan's on, on the clap, um, I, maybe you could just do a bell filter, a parametric EQ, and just cut it a little bit. Um, but I, I wasn't hitting me. And back to these headphones. These headphones are really great for the mid-range. All right. This is really good. Hey, Sonia. It's really good for the, the mid-range and for addressing things um, like DSing elements. So these, all, these headphones are really good for that. So I, I didn't really feel it too much. Uh, but I'm also listening to it at a decent volume, but maybe just a little bit. All right, so a little sidechain compression, cutting out some lows on the guitars, the bass, the kick, maybe even the pads, even those hi-hats that come in. Maybe doing a little cut on the clap around like 
4K, just a little bit. Well, then that sounded really solid. Sonia, welcome. Thanks for joining us. I was addressing you. I was like, I don't know if you're here. I saw your email. I haven't read it yet because I'm just, I've been super busy relocating, relocating to Woodstock, New York. Uh, but thanks for joining us. Just know that I, I saw a bit, but I haven't seen it. I didn't get to read it yet. So we have a uh, music creator, Yuyake Monster, coming through. This track was removed. Okay, so sorry to just under. You got to resubmit it. You got to resubmit it. Sometimes that happens with private uh, tracks. So resubmit it if you can. And we'll wait for that to come in. Guys, give me one minute. I'll be right back. Hold on. So, yes, Yuyake Monster, please resubmit. Your track did not come in correctly. Uh, okay. Um, all right. We are waiting. We are waiting. Let's try it one more time. Here we go, and we're good to go. All right, awesome, let's kick it off.
All right, cool, 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 Vega. Yuyake Monster, cool. Yeah, the mix, yeah, for sure. So really, that that's a fun, like, arrangement, really wild, energetic track, cool leads, movement, you know. And the rhythm, like, it's, it's got a lot of great things going on, but the mix, right, the mix, we got to, yeah, once you get that mix cleaned up, you know, it's tough because there are, there's a lot going on. So there is a part of me that, you know, of course we want those, I feel like we want those drums to hit a little bit harder, but I know, you know, because of the rhythms and all the elements that are going on, I'm curious to where, how far you can push the drums. But yeah, I think you just need to clean things up and rebalance. The synths are just a little too loud. Uh, some of those synths also hit a little too high. So for me, um, and I'm curious, Nathan, if you heard it in the in the sense, this was an actually an area in the sense. Some of those high notes, the frequencies got a little too piercing, where you might need to get a notch or a bell filter, maybe just a bell filter. You got some whistle tones. Whistle tones are around like they they can be anywhere around four to eight k, right? Yeah, definitely lows big time. Um, but I was just also just talking about some of these synths they hit they screech a little bit low end across the board needs to be cut so some side chain compression would be tremendous you know even just a little bit you know because these synths are driving this track a lot and it's really these cool melodic lines that you have running that are really exciting but also those drums like they they move and they're so you know they go fast they go slow um I feel like to get the kick and the snare, the cut a little bit more, maybe a little side chaining. You know, I know with this this kind of vibe of the music, the, the drums can be a little bit tucked in, um, but maybe just a little side chain compression, put it on all the pads and the synths. Sometimes I'll just put, you know, just like three to four dB of gain reduction. So when the kick, when the kick comes in, it just pushes them down a little bit and just can, so the rhythm can be felt a little bit more. So yes. Low end, you can clean up at the low end. It's always a thing. I think also your time-based effects could be uh, tightened up a bit. And the shark, if you're still with us, your time-based effects, like your reverbs, could also just be tied down. Just a tie, pull it back just a little bit, okay? Um, so cool. Yeah, the arrangement, the vibe uh, is working really well. The sound design is really cool. The mix, I think, is the area that could really help this track and bring it to the next level. So I hope that helps. Start with that for some advice to start guide you. All right. So let's see what we got. Yes, there is time. So here we go. The long, normal, length track. I like that. If you have the medium, short to length, Epic track. No, I'm just playing. All right, let's let's do this. Close. 
so I'll see you through an electronic cloak. Today is tomorrow in the new world. I don't know how I am. I don't know. Not like things were perfect, but I know I wasn't done yet. I'm afraid that I now live in the new world. Nothing to take, nothing to give in the new world. And at five, I'll pour a cocktail, I'll raise it to you. In the new world. All right, all right. <clears throat> Very cool. Was that inspired by these COVID times? Or was this written before COVID? Oh, totally pandemic. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm feeling. Um, really cool, man. Really nice arrangement. Uh, you're mixing the recording. I'm really like. Um, Really nice recording. The way this was tracked, um, the way it's mixed, some like you got it's you got a really good engineering side, um, and then the song and the production, the arrangement moves. Curious if you have anything that you want to ask us? Yes, certainly was. So one thing that it, like I, I will want to take a quick listen. I was wondering well one where you are emotionally with this track i guess for me i was hoping that the hook could be like defined a little bit more like the section of the hook like you know like if it's maybe even just the variation the way it's set up you know i know it's a minimal ensemble which is my favorite thing i love like you know you got the bass the drums your voice i guess some synths some minimal synths maybe some guitar right yeah, the vocals, you know, it's it's got a vibe to it. Um, I I do believe I think they could be stronger. I think you do another take, but also for the like the essence of the track and the lyrics of the track, right? You know, it has kind of a a, a vibe to it where it, I don't know. I kind of I feel like it also kind of fits this scary new world that we're in, right? There's like a certain uncertainty there that you can feel and hear in the voice, but I feel like it's also the emotion and, and kind of the, the, the world of the track and the source of the track. So, um, yeah, man, that would be my advice is the new world, the hook that repeats the chorus. You know, if there's anything, I don't know, maybe you could put a little bit more of it like maybe put a stronger pad like i just feel like something just to find those that section a little bit more i think it could be nice because they come back right it's going to come back twice the hook so if you could just make it thicken up maybe put a nice pad in it i think that'd be kind of cool um, but i really like your use of the symbols too as a way to like define sections so awesome ivan thanks for sharing um, audio duck we are wrapping it up today yes i would love to hear your soundcloud but unfortunately uh, we are done for today try to ca I mean, catch us next saturday 
1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My name is Atropolis. I'm an Ableton certified trainer at 343 Labs. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, I'll be here every Saturday. Check out our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram every day. We got free information. And if you want to go deeper, check out our courses, 343labs.com. We got our physical school in New York City reopening. We got a physical school in Berlin. Um, and we got our virtual classes online, which you can, if you want to learn from me, you can. So check us out, 343labs.com. We actually got a massive sale popping off right now. So take advantage of that. We're saying goodbye, Audio Ducks. I'm sorry you missed us. Thank you. Sonia, I will get back to you. Okay, so my apologies for um, not being able to respond to you. So, all right, guys, I'll see you uh, next Saturday. Okay, take care. Oh, let me switch the thing. Boom.